kembo kembo na tatanzambi ya mazulu kimfumo kya kuisa glory of praises to the most high cme family i'm coming to you again because uh it's actually almost 3 a.m in the morning however the most high has called me to do this message ironically is because i was watching the he kept to show me things over and over. I was watching this uh, this movie, Battlefields, Los Angeles, where they're actually giving you a heads up of some things that's going to be going down that the military won't have a clue about some of the things they're trying to hide, about the future events. And the most high needed me to do this video because he wanted me to debunk and to uh, do as we continue with this band to waking. I know I'm going to be a little quiet because I got family sleeping. This concept of how uh, our the truth has been hijacked and many people have been misled. And this is why, like Pastor Mello says, people will be shocked in these last days as to what's really going on. And our brothers and sisters, and this is gonna be a really tough message because I know that we currently have many of our Bantu brothers and sisters serving various capacities and many of these various militaries around the world, especially in America. But you're gonna learn as I found out why because i always wanted to be a part of it years ago and i've had relatives and i know people who were in it that one of the reasons why satan has deceived the whole world is to cause wars i had a relative of mine i'm not gonna say his name that once said upon a time wars have been fought since the beginning of mankind so what's the big deal <laughs> and tatanzambi is going to let people know i'm sure he's let people know all these years oh it's a very big deal because part of our brainwashing and our, of our enslavement and i'll even tell you about some of the lies that the Most High has revealed to me, even about the Civil War, that they did not tell, our, our ancestors were kept secret from, and we currently be, continue to be lied to today, that wars have always been and will continue to be those that the Most High deems Gentile or Gentile minded sacrifices to the wicked spirits and the demons. Um, we need to understand, and I'm going to give, you know, give all going to praise to the Most High for this time. I'm going to say a, a quick prayer. Tatanzambi Yamazulu, King Fumu Kyakuisa, Baba, Matondo Masakijila, for this opportunity to speak on this, to show the world that once again that Satan has in fact deceived many, that many people standing in the pulpit don't even may not even understand this, that because of the deception, that there are those who are standing in the pulpit that are telling lies. Hence the reason why no one's really understanding the whole concept of what's going on and what time it is and how they were actually used to fulfill the days of Noah without their aren't knowing and why the chosen have to be become the part of the stronghold. Tatanzambi allow my words to be able to be a witness to those who continue to go along with the deception of those who are not telling the truth and are using people for the wrong reasons. In the name of Kuswa Congo, Yahweh Bena Yahweh, Tatanzam, Isaiah Congo, Ingeta. 
So I once again give honor to our Bantu brothers and sisters in South Waking, Ike Masa, Ganata Chilombo, Pastor Melo, Chibu Malongo, and many others. Uh, I know uh, Monda, I, I want to watch the video between Mikel Masa and Monzambi Mon Zola here shortly. Hopefully, um, but I'm doing this video today. Play some music here real quick. I'll try not to get it too loud because I want to talk. I mean, I'm on the headphones, but they won't hear it. So it'll be on my computer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kim Bonayo, hallelujah. This is the Church of Jesus Christ in the world. Isa Christo. And they're singing in the language of the Banabetu, the true language of the Messiah that many people don't know, have been lied to, the Lingala, the Kikongo, that people will soon find out from the deception. <laughs> Now, of course, people wonder why the green and the white. We know now that that's Gabriel, not Gabriel, uh, Raphael, the angel of healing, because the most high's angels do have different colors, two different responsibilities, especially the archangels. And we know that this is significant to what has happened in the way to heal people from their illnesses. And what they've hidden from people in this in uh, Christianity and the other religions, how you receive true healing is you actually have to have angels obe obey you. And many people don't realize you can't get healing without obedience. Um, so this message is going to address a very powerful subject that many don't even realize that this is what has allowed them to 
make the days of Noah come to pass and you don't even realize that your role in it, as I remember now in a, in a vision that I had. And what's funny is as I'm doing this, this is actually telling you that there's prophecy coming in forward because I had a vision that I was doing this video because it's a matter, it's a major uh, subject. Hold on one second. I apologize, I need to stabilize myself here. I know I'm kind of relaxed. I apologize, it's just that, um, you know, I want to give people an opportunity to think about this because one of the things, and I hope I can get, I'm gonna see if I can pull the picture up. I hope I have it saved in my, uh, hold on a second. See, here we go. Now, here we go. I just happened to pull this up. And people want to know why we, we as Bantus in Awakening have an issue with Christianity. See this right here? This is the stuff we're talking about. The Most High is nothing about this. And I'm going to tell you, the biggest, and I told my wife this today, the biggest lie that you have ever learned in Christianity, the Most High does not allow sin in his kingdom, ever. He does not allow abominations in his kingdom. I hey, got something about Kenya right there. I saw that. I'll see if I can look at that and see what that's about. Um, it goes in 11.11. I'm telling you, that's a number that's going to start popping up here because they're going to start destroying us. They're, they're getting ready to do some destruction here. And if you haven't noticed, there was a video I actually put on YouTube, no, on Twitter and Facebook. This person released a video where Israel is starting to lock people down and starting to track you who took the COVID vaccine and who didn't. So, of course, it doesn't surprise me that, of course, where would it begin? In the land of the lot of the deceivers. We're now this is going to be coming global. But here we go. <laughs> a Missouri pastor reportedly seeking professional counseling after he told women to lose weight and strive to be like Melania Trump for their husbands. <laughs> People, <laughs> if this doesn't get you to realize you're in a mixed spiritual religion because this is common people this isn't just this person okay this is happening all over you have pedophilia being reported you have pastors abusing the women in this you know in their churches all kind of things happening gay pastors you know the, the thing that you need to understand you cannot cast a pastor who is in the sin cannot cast out Satan. Isaiah said it himself, Satan cannot cast out Satan. You cannot be mixed spirituality and be able to cast out Satan or help anybody else cast out Satan. And I'm learning this myself. That's it's important why it's important to be as much as spiritual as possible in our awakening because we are not Christianity people. We are the most highest chosen and he's allowing us to wake people up and realize that this world has deceived you. You are in carnality. The churches are in carnality. They think they are spiritual, but they are fooling themselves. They have fooled their own people. They have brought them to the beast instead of taking them away from it. And this is happening through Masonic pastors. And it's not just, it's not just Christianity, it's Islam. Even people in the Hebrew Israelites will tell you that they know there's certain Masonic pastors, people preaching um, Buddhism, Hinduism, all this stuff. I'm going to show you, okay, that um, everything is everything is relevant to what I'm about to talk to you today. I'm going to show you, hopefully, if I can get it pulled up. The 
just give me one moment. I got images. Oh, wait a minute. And I'm gonna get into the scripture. I'm gonna try not to be too long, you know, because I, I know I did a few couple long videos. Get my photos here. Let me pause this just a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause this because I don't want, I got pictures on here and family, and I don't want people to see that. So just one second, I'm going to pause this recording and I'll come right back. Okay, Kimball, I'm back. Yeah, I, you know, because I didn't want to put other people's faces out there you know, in this ministry. Um, not that I'm, you know, it's, I mean, the most high protects us, but at the same time, it's not for anybody else to know. Because I don't want people out there, why you put my face on your on your video? I didn't give you permission. Or why you put my kids out there, they watch it, or, you know, because I have recordings of that go up to my phone. So, all right, I'm going to show you this. This is um, the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is basically how Satan has deceived the whole world when it comes to war. When it comes to laying low the Gentiles, when it comes to, and this is actually the Egyptians showing you in a, uh, in a drawing that was, I guess, I don't know where the person found this, but I guess it's, um, something that they posted on and it shows you that what Satan does and this is the same thing and I remember in the days of Noah people don't even understand that there was a it was war going on okay just like now the war is going on okay and so <clears throat> One of the things you see here, these are the fallen angel gods, really. These are the gods that they worshiped. They're showing you that the Pharaoh or the leaders involved, they're puppets, they're controlling. These are probably, I think if I'm not mistaken in the Egyptian, this is actually the, the religious leaders that the Pharaoh, is um tied to so in religion you can see that the 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 gods are speaking to the priests who then tell the leaders go fight go to fight war while you pray to us okay this is exactly what satan did what after cain killed abel and how he got the world to become so corrupt he did the same thing afterwards where he used war as a way to get, because see the bottom line is the reason why they need these people to die is so that they can live because they need the sacrifice. So they're, so they're, they're showing you, and I don't even, I don't even need to read Egyptian hieroglyphs to the most high to demonstrate this. The one is going to show me, please be the most high for this. The Moan is showing me, okay, the Moan is sent me the Holy Spirit, the true Moanda, that this is how, this, you see the serpent seeds is on the, this, the crocodile himself is a serpent head. Okay, these are gods. I don't remember which ones, like you can look them up if you know the ground kind of the pictures, I don't care to know which ones they are because they all, I mean, this, the secret societies today still would do this with the, with these gods. They don't even know. They keep this hidden. <clears throat> so they're so they're showing you that when these preachers or religious leaders are praying to these false gods, they can help to manipulate what the leaders of the world do in order to get them to fight wars. And then at the same time, you're praying to them for however outcome you want. So I'm gonna go into a scripture and this is gonna show you, this is where 
the Gentiles have misunderstood this scripture to no end. And one of the things I'm going to talk about, because I'm going to talk about how the harlot has worn out the saints. The biggest mistake in this world that I've learned, human beings cannot determine what is a saint. So the Pope, he starts talking about saints, who's a santa, who's a saint, who's a, all these different things. The Most High has revealed to me in so many ways, only the Benin zombie can determine who is a saint and who isn't. And the way you become a saint is not just through your works, but in the proper channels of, of faith through the true Jesus Christ, the true Hamasia, the one who came to die, the one who came to save his people, the Yusolele, that has been twisted throughout the generations. And now you're seeing that this is how it was done right here. This is how it was done throughout the generations. And I'm going to show you how the Messiah is going to show you this. Okay, this is going to continue <clears throat> moving forward in his scripture through Matthew, Matthew. And it says, this is Matthew 24, which we now know the church loves to take out of context. And people don't understand, you know, I know people are going to get upset about this. You know, the most is like, hey, the bottom line is you don't know what's going on because when it comes to killing people and being in wars, okay, there's nothing Christianity can do to validate, to say that it's right. This is why these preachers, they twist it. Oh, we thank you for your service, soldier. We thank you for this. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to prove it to you. All of you people dying on the front lines and getting killed in these wars, when have you ever seen a priest? When have you ever seen a chaplain? When have you ever seen any one of these people who say they believe in the true Jesus Christ, have the Holy Spirit, raise any of your comrades from the dead? But yet the Messiah says you have the power to do this. So I'm showing you the deception that the devil has put on people. Okay. Now, I'm going to start with four. And Isaiah, Jesus Christ, people call him Jesus Christ, which we now know he's a Choluba. And they've, they've lied saying that he was Aramaic, that he was you know, you're just speaking Jew. No. Okay. Take heed that no one leads you astray. Number one. People, the Freemasons, the secret societies, the Eastern Stars, and I'll let me see if I, I'm I meant to bring it up. Let me see if I can pull up the orders. Let's do this. Secret. Society. Uh, degrees. And they don't hide it, people. I'm showing you. They don't even hide it no more. Okay, you can pull this up on Google it. They keep it right here. Look at look how many people, black masons right there. Okay. I'm telling you, you're a black mason. They're showing you right here. This guy got on. He, this is witchcraft, people. He's showing you. I'm trying to find this degree chart. It tells you. All right, here's how we can. This is it right here. All right, let's pull it up. Okay. Knights of St. Andrews, all of these people right here. Let's see if I can enlarge it. York Rights, Sovereign Order of the Knights, Percent Masonic Knights. Okay. Order of the Eastern Star, people. This is Ishtar. Daughters of the Nile. See, they worship the Egyptian gods. You can't be called Daughters of the Nile worship if you didn't worship the Egyptian gods. <coughs> They haven't have an international order of Job's daughter. 
this is this see this is Ashkenazi Jews incorporating themselves into this. The ancient Arabic order of the nobles of the mystic shrine, and these are your Moors. Okay. Let's see. So you got St. Thomas of Akan. Honorary, this is the third. Okay, when you reach this level, this is Lucifer. You are 100% say, working for the fallen angels, period. End of story, okay? So all these people below this, they may convince them that they're still in their religion or Christians or whatever, but the bottom line is this is Lucifer right here above this. Okay. These are the fallen areas. So what I'm gonna what I'm saying is, you know, this this is this. Okay. So what I'm gonna show you is that this is how we've been led astray in this as our as the most I will show you, this is where his flock has been led astray by deceivers. And there are those who know what I'm talking about is true, but they'll never admit it to your face until the most high makes you admit it. Okay, that the people when he's saying Christianity is the led astray. I'm gonna say it again. Christianity is who he is talking about. Because right now in this conversation, there is no one, there's no one named Christian. There's no person that's a Christian in this conversation when he's speaking to his disciples. These are Banabetu, these are Yusolele, this is Yaounde. Okay, this is not Isra, it's is Isis Ra and El. This is not Ashkenazi Khazars, Turkish converse who claiming to be Jacob. This is not Ishmael claiming to be Jacob, Sephardic Jews. You have been deceived by the wicked one. That's why he said those who call themselves Jews but are not, but are sitting not going Satan. And if your family members were these type of Jews and they converted to Christianity, the Most High still sees you the same way because that is not the purpose of the church. The purpose of the churches was to bring Jacob home, the real Jacob, not the people claiming to be. Okay, so this is once again, even in, I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna tell you why you had World War I, World War II, why you have, and why now World War Three is actually already kicking off. So people can just, okay, it's going. Y'all can just, they can collide to you all they want. But World War Three is going off. It's going to escalate as this awakening continues because there's a reason for it. All right, so it says here, for many shall come in my name, say I'm Hamasiah. That is the different, the people don't understand the different denominations of Christianity is that very thing. You cannot split the Messiah into different beliefs and interpretations. He has one interpretation, the king, the king of Yisolele, the king of Yisaela, the king of the, 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 the Mukongos people, not the Yiddish speaking Ashkenazi Sephardic Jews. They may have Jacob in them because of their history, but they are not all, they are not 100% Jacob. And they know this. Okay, they are misleading the world. They are mostly Esau manipulating them. Yeah, there's, there's Jacob there. Don't believe there's black Jews there. But they're the real Jews and not the ones that keep telling you that they're the Jews. All right. And you should begin to hear of fightings and reports of fightings. See that you are not troubled for these have to take place, but the end is not yet. Okay. <laughs> Woo. I just love when Christianity has misinterpreted this scripture so bad. He is referring to, and there's actually a scripture that actually interpreted it's a little bit different. I can't remember if it was um, Philip or Barnabas or one of those other scriptures that said he's, when he actually said it, he said that there would be rumors of wars for because people have forgotten the where they come from or forgotten the ways of the Most High. 
Okay. And what it was, what he was saying is that the wars and rumors of wars started after Jerusalem fell. So quit thinking, oh yeah, there's one of the rumor of war now, the end is not yet. No, the end is here. This is why Satan deceived you. We're at the end, people. Okay? We are at the end. Christianity has deceived so many people with this scripture alone. You are in the final phases of the days of Noah. Period. Okay? You are at the final phases of the days of Noah. I'm going to tell you right now, you are fulfilling this scripture in the militaries because the one thing your generals won't tell you, your high-ranking military officers, they are not working for the Most High. They may think they're going to tell you they're Christians. They're going to tell you that, oh, yeah, we're Christ God-fearing Christians or whatever. As Masonic people, if they are wearing that uniform, they are working for Lucifer. Period. Okay. If they wearing that eye of horse on their uh, apron, that is Satan. So you are in Satan's army. Just like this. This is Satan's army. Okay. Why am I saying this? The biggest deception that has been brought upon humanity, the most highest army is not Christians. First and foremost, he has angels that his, the Messiah has angels that are his own army. Does that not mean the most high can't manipulate things? Of course he can in his, in his favor. But you are fighting this is where it says the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. This is the strong delusion. Okay. If you were the most highest army, just like when he had his military forces in the past, <laughs> nations would run away from you. Let me say that again. This is how they know how scary we were. Nations would run away from you if he is in the if he is with his army like he was in the days of Jacob Dawidi and all the others. Nations would run away from you. When he took 300 people of his soldiers and took on the army of uh, and this is why he made that lie of a movie saying it was the Spartans, baloney. It's the scripture that talks about the 300, okay? When he took on, he took on Xerxes' army and he made them dwindle it down, okay? Let's go to the scripture, the 300. He made them saying, I don't want them to think that they are gonna be puffed up. Xerxes' armies, Xerxes' army had beings that were out of this world in it witchcraft, all kind of stuff. Just like they showed you, but they told you it was the Spartans. No, this is the most size. This is the retelling of the correct way. Yeah, judges, let me go there. Okay, so, and I'm trying to stay on task here because I know sometimes I have a tendency to jump around, jump around. I apologize. So it's second judges, uh, second and first judges. Let's see, second judges. Must 
first Judges seven. Because I know in this scripture he he's told them to only use. Oh, I forget the scripture. I'm sorry. So when Gideon, yeah, Gideon, I apologize. Gideon judges, let's see. Yeah, he told him when they fought, the Midianites into your hand. Now I'm gonna tell you who the Midianites are, which they were actually part of the Persian army. So they put them in the Arabian Peninsula, but they were connected to Agamemnon, uh, the the Xerxes army. So they were the one, the Persians. They came across to fight the three hundred, and they were knocking down ten thousand plus people at one shot. Okay, that's Tatanzambi's army, the Zulus which we know were part of the real army of Dawidi ran through the British, which is, and made them retreat with their cannons. This is why they're hiding this from you. They were like, they didn't need, they, that's why they, they kept saying, they kept popping up, popping up like they were not even knocked down. Okay. This is one of the reasons, the, the, I'm telling you, they lie, the Mwandan Semi, was was connected to these people with Shaka. They were jacking these people up. They were shooting them and they were just popping back up. Okay. The the what what caused the issue is we get separated because we turned over the land and that and we accepted Christianity and boom psh, power drop. Test the lie, okay. Once you come, once you do a baptism through what they did, boom, power drop. That's the lie because they already knew who we were. They knew we have, we knew our Messiah. We knew all of this. That's why Shaka turned. The real reason why Shaka turned, because he's like, wait a minute, this isn't the same Jesus we know. He figured it out. <laughs> they lied. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why they have to hide history from us. Now, this is the wars, the wars and rumors of wars of everything that has happened over the last 2000 years during the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled, period. Okay. So you can go talk to your scholars or whatever you want to do and blah, blah, blah. You're not going to get real truth, people, because they're not going to tell you who you are until the Most High reveals it to the world and starts. This is, this is why he's doing this. He's showing the Banabetu, the Mokongos that have been scattered around this earth, South America mostly. People, I guess, so upset about this whole thing about North America and, and Black people's pride. The same time, that, the, that, that Satan began to do his thing to stop us from having our connection with Simon Toko. It wasn't just happening in the Americas, in America, United States. It was happening in Central and South America too. There were wars going on. They're happening in Asia, okay? The devil does not want him, does not want to be judged by Jacob, okay? So he did. He put, he devised a way, 
as he has done for generations to get us to kill one another and to soil the bride, which the bride are as the eleven. That and the the the, the, the true bantus, the true yisolele. Okay, so Christianity, th this is the deception on you. This is why you're going through the stuff you're going through right now in this world. And you don't know what's going on. They took your money to build a nation. The Freemasons needed your money to build Babylon. Period. And to extend the Roman Empire and the, and the Babylonian system that they serve all these generations and trick you into believing that you are the bride. Okay, so any, I'm, I'm gonna show you, and I know there's black people, even pastors that have served in the military, you have been killing Jacob and they didn't tell you this. You're killing the real, most high people and you didn't know. This is part of the way that, that, that Satan has deceived the whole world. He did this even during the time he got Seth and Cain to kill one another. That's why the world got, when they mixed, they started killing one another. Okay, same thing. And there were white people then doing the same stuff. Okay, here we go. Um, so yes, we have the 300, you know, Gideon, he picked 300, that's and his, and that army destroyed the Midianites, uh, obliterated them with 300 people, okay? That's how the Most High fights wars with his, with his army, untouched, hardly. All right, let's go to Matthew. Back to Matthew twenty four. Yeah, when the Most High's in, when his army shows up, you better believe it ain't gonna be no worrying about your your comrade falling or whoever. Or why this? Because this is why they do these wars. They they. The Most High's army, when it comes time to fight this time, it's going to be invincible. You ain't going to touch them. Period. It's going to be like they just running through you like you're not even there. That's how the Most High fights. When he's ready to fight, that's how he fights. That's why he had Davidi knock down Goliath with a rock. Boom. Okay. That's how the Most High does it, power. All right, let's see here. Okay, and it says, now we're here to the point of earthquakes, and this is why Masa was talking about the prophecies of Simon Toko and Simon Kimbongo. I'm gonna tell you right now, he didn't even need to tell me those prophecies because the Most High showed me this even before I came into the Bantu Awakening that this was gonna happen. That's why when they started talking about, I'm like, yep, I'm on the wavelength with you. This is why people would get scared when I kept talking about it or they would concern themselves. And I'm like, okay, look, see, I'm not lying to you people. This started, and I didn't even realize it since, since 1999, that when that clock clicked over, we were already on the downhill spiral. That's what they didn't tell you. And what happened in New York was the warning shot. See, they, and they're not gonna tell you that. They made up a story say, oh, we were attacked by terrorists. No, you're in Mr. Babylon, people. The Most High said a warning shot to make us go to war with this, the same way ancient Babylon did to die in the land of the Midianite, uh, of all these different nations that Babylon was killed through by before. That's why Iran is the end game because Iran was the end game for ancient Babylon. <laughs> they know that. Okay. Then they shall, let's see, it says here, then they shall deliver you up to affliction and kill you and you shall be hated. <laughs> this is why I just love how Christianity wants to say, oh, we're hated by all nations because of his namesake. No, 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 no. Ye solele, banabetu, you are hated for his namesake because his name is Congo. We call him, we call him Kuswa Congo. 
the anointed one of truth. Yesterday, Hamasiah, Yisai, Yisai, Christi was just, you know, other names we use. Kuswa Kongo, the anointed one of truth. This is why you're hated for his name's sake. Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, you know. Sonini, Nanini, Sam, Ben Anzambi. This is why you're hated, okay? And then many shall stumble and they shall deliver up one another and they shall hate one another. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Many Bantus have stumbled. How can how do we know this? We delivered ourselves up when it came to the slave trade with the Muslims. History. I know Mikhail, y'all gonna say, yep, because y'all Congo knows what we did. We delivered each other up to the slave trade. We had arguments. So don't then let tell these Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites, oh, it's how my sister is a captivity. Baloney, they have gone and done interviews with Bantu people in Africa that said, yes, we did sell our own people. Period. Because it was all about the, what happened with the Portuguese and the wealth factor when they killed Moni Congo and turned on people into Christianity. Okay. So don't let them tell you we did not sell each other. Yes, we did. Okay. This is the problem with art, the fake history. Now, does that mean? So the point is, they didn't. But the the, the way that the, they don't tell the story right is that they knew who they came to capture. The real Hebrews, the real Banabetu. Now, from that point on, we were conditioned to do one thing: kill Jacob, if necessary. This is the whole point of making the slave master. Use the field nigger against the house nigger, as we know. This was also done in South America. This was also done in Asia. Same concepts. Okay. Because there were black people there. And Africa. In Europe. Okay. It didn't just happen in America, people. The point is they knew who we were. They cause us to turn against one another. So here's the deal. Because you didn't know that some Native Americans were Bantu, which is actually very true. They weren't all Bantu. There was a few of them. Okay. You, when Buffalo shoulders would go to shoot them, you were killing Jacob. That's why I tried to tell Pastor Mello that the, the, <laughs> it's not a coincidence. And even in the movie, they told you this. The holy man for the uh, for the um, Apache's name was Nana, which is the number eight in Kikongo. That's why they let him go. <laughs> See, they don't tell you the real history. When the buffalo sort of realized, wait a minute, because they still knew the language. There's st some of them still knew their language a little bit. These people speak like we do. <laughs> They had a history connection. They let these people go because they realized they were lied to about what the, who the Apache were. Okay. This is why they say, oh, why do you think skull and bones? And they're going to tell you, they, they know this. They took the body or the, bon the body of, or the head or whatever of Geronimo and brought it to their facility because his, his even it says when you have the Mwandan semi, even your bones have power. <laughs> even your bones have the power. You touch the bones, you can be healed. Nekamasa pointed that out. Hallelujah. Kefas Nandu. Kefas Lendu. Sorry, sorry, Kefas. Um Chiba Malonga. But uh, you know. This is the deception of Christianity. Your bones are still alive when you have the one and send me. Because you, your, your spirit never dies. So the power still is, is in the vicinity. <laughs> That's true power. So like I'm saying, 
one of the things that people don't understand is they knew who Nimrod, his spirit, his spirit, the people who worship him, they knew where to go looking for Yokuba and to turn Yokuba against Yokuba. And that's what he means when he says, we will stumble and deliver one to the other. And this is exactly what's going on. Let me show you. Okay, these are African-American soldiers brought into the military, not understanding that the military that they serve in is the modern day version of the Pharaoh's army. Okay, this is why they, I met a guy who was in the Marines, a buddy of a gift school of mine. He knew they put us on the front line so that we would die. The biggest deception about the Civil War is that the free slaves were also being used to kill the slaves who were also down there that had that were against each other. They were shooting each other, people. The, the Southerners did actually make the Southerner slaves turn into an army. Okay, don't think they didn't because they knew who exactly who was killing whom. Because the, they, they knew one of the things that was gonna happen was Jacob kills Jacob. This is Satan. This is how the Freemasons hit a lot of history. That war was for to cur for curses, period. Slavery was already over before the war even started. We were running the plantation. That's how the, that's how the history lies, okay? The carpetbagging movement, like so they say to change the South or whatever, most most slave owners were most white people in the South couldn't even own slaves. <laughs> okay. It was usually the rich plantation over who were Masons. Yes. They were the ones doing all the debauchery and everything because they were worshiping Lucifer through their secret societies, period. Okay. History is a lie, people. American history is fabricated 100%. The 14th Amendment, I was watching a video about it. It didn't free anybody. All they did was take the chains off of your wrists and put it on your brain. Because they didn't need to have, we didn't need to be in chains anymore because we were already conditioned. We were starting to forget ourselves, and then we started to be, we wanted to be like the white man, and, and they started bringing us into the different things, and then Satan said, "Nope, I want the," as he knew the time was going to come, and I didn't know my side talk. We're not now that I know about Simon Toko and when he was born, and, and when Simon Kimbongo was doing his stuff, Satan wanted the race war to start because he knew that if the word got out who the real Jews are with any of these people that were doing powerful things in Africa, it would cause a riot in the United States. Who the real, who has the real power? We want, they knew, the white people knew they would lose control. Everything in this country is about control. Always has been. Always has been. Control of what you know control about who you think, who, who's who, all of that. The way, even there, even like, like this, the reason why so many Jews think the Holocaust was real for them that went through it is because they don't understand. They have their whole religion was, Judaism is a lie. It's, it's the synagogue of Satan is Judaism, always has been, okay? So you were a sacrifice to the fallen angels. They just not gonna tell you that. The fallen angels controlled Hitler. The fallen angels controlled Churchill. The fallen angels controlled FDR. World War II, I'm gonna tell you right now, World War I, World War II, and soon to be World War III was about trying to destroy Jacob so he wouldn't be able to come back to the kingdom to judge the fallen angels. They tried to destroy the world several times so that the Most High couldn't bring his people back. And they used us to be a part of that. 
through secret societies that we joined, which we had no business being in, in the first place. The boule. Okay, you're not gonna hear this from the none of them. They will not tell you this. Okay, the most high is gonna sit there and they're gonna they're gonna lie and and they don't understand. This is why they trick you to come into the military. Okay. When they know doggone well, it's about dwindling Jacob's numbers. And it's not just here. It's in Africa too. The Congo. The, 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 these, the Hamites leaders, even our own Bantu leaders, they know exactly what they're doing. Okay, this is Horus sucking um suckering people once again to worship him and he's his father pursuing the seed of abraham through his father causing all kinds of destruction helping satan and the fallen angels get their blood sacrifices and causing jacob just like in the days of when they when elijah faced balaam to get us to curse ourselves. We're in a captivity people that made us curse ourselves. Our leaders have brought us into these captivities because of our disobedience to the Most High. However, just like Esau does all the time, he takes it to the whole nother level and all these fallen angels, they made killing us, which they, that was not part of the agreement when we went into captivity period. That's why he's going to really wreck shop and people are not going to know why. The two thirds are the Gentiles who think that are, who, who are going to be Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, um, Hindu, all these different religions, uh, atheists, satanic worshipers. That's your two thirds. Those are your terrorist people. Because the point is, you did not bring Jacob home. You actually became Jacob. You were taught to do equal to Jacob, which was never true, which is why Hosea chapter two was always taught out of context in every church, in every, in every country, everywhere. Christian, 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 Christian. Muslim, 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 pushing all these religions and they all belong to Lucifer. Yes, I said it. I know Chris, like Chris is going to say, oh, I'm going to turn, you, you, you did Satan. Da, da, da. We know, Banabe to be solely, we know, okay, that Simon Toko, he only used Christianity in his teachings because he needed to relate to something that we understood, that was taught to us. But we are not, we, we are always been Mukongo, Banabe to be solely, period, Yaounde. Okay, we were never a religion, we we're a spirituality. And they deceived us by, by having us dumb ourselves down by accepting a religion that does not reflect the most high. And I'm telling you, that's why you learn traditions of men. Okay, war is Lucifer. How did it was it was it not the Antichrist that had Cain kill Abel? Yes. Did the Most High come looking for Abel? The Most High did not start war, people. Okay, this is the fallen angel legacy to destroy the Most High's kingdom and his people, because the Most High's kingdom is everywhere. That's why Yesiah said the kingdom has already come. You just can't see it. Now, look at here. You got the Filipinos. You got these Filipinos are Bantus. I'm going to show you how I know that. This is the most hidden war. Let's see if I can pull it up. This is the most hidden war in American history. It came after allegedly the Spanish-American War, 
when the United States took over all the territories on my Spain, once again, sacrifice. <laughs> the Philippine American War. In this war, it went from February 4, 1899 to July. <laughs> Huey, 1902, and it was not even a war, people. It was a massacre. This is why they hide it. It was a massacre. Let's see if I can see. Let's see if they'll tell the real history about this war. The reason why it started is because they were Philippine, they thought they were being liberated by America from the Spanish. And then they turned around and decided that they wanted to take what the, the Filipinos had, called them children. Wow, does that sound familiar? And said they're not capable of ruling themselves. Let's see, there was over, okay, yeah, see. The war resulted in at least 200,000 Filipino civilian deaths. Is that a war or is that a massacre? You see how you see why they don't want this in the history books? Okay. That's a massacre, people. That's not a war. Let's read this. The war resulted in at least 200,000 Filipino civilian deaths, mostly due to famine and disease. Some of the estimates for total civilian death reached up to a million. The war, and especially the following occupation by the U.S., changed the culture and leading to the rise in Protestantism and the, the, in this establishment of the Catholic Church and the introduction of English to the islands in the primary language of the government, education, business industry, and in future decades, among upper class families and education individuals. And right now in the Philippines, there is no middle class. It was always meant to be, and they've always kept it as a system where the poor people will always own the rich people and they will never pay off their debt. That is the Philippines people since this war. There is no middle class there. You're either rich or you're very in the in the very you have very few rich people. And of course, you had all the leaders that were set up that were taking advantage of the people, and you have those who are very poor. And secretly, the greatest um, resource to the Philippines that they export is their women. They know this, okay? What they don't realize is they are connected to the most highest people. And they, I have spoken to Filipinos that know how to speak Kikongo. Yes, or the Lingala connection that I actually discovered. I wish I could find it again. I looked up a word and it popped up that there were, it came up in Indonesia where there's people in Indonesia that can speak Lingala. Let me see if I can find it. Let me Google it here. Let's see if I can see Lingala. Yeah, it's called Bahasa Lingala. <laughs> okay, watch this. Uh, where is it? Wait, I could be wrong. I could have sworn I know in Indonesia they have people speaking. Let's do this.
So let's look at this. They call it Javanese, but I remember I looked up a word in Lingala and it said, it was it said it was an Indonesian word. And I was like, what? Let's see if we can, let's see if they'll tell us the truth. Let's see. African. African slaves in the There you go. So you have So here you go. The slave train was widely carried out during the Dutch colonial period in Indonesia. <laughs> Sound familiar? Those Virgin Islands. Hello, the Dutch are very were very much into slave trading. Okay. But one of the things they're gonna find out is we took they took Africans to the the. Let's see. Africa. See, they try to hide these people. They know that they did this. Slave, African slaves in Asia. See here, Black Africans have been coming to West Asia as slaves since the pre- Islamic era. This is why I try to tell our brothers and sisters in this Bantu awakening, we've been <laughs> we've been scattered since the slave, the Islamic slave trade. People, do you see this? They were taking them to West Asia as far back as the pre-Islamic era. So Bantus were already being traded in the Asian region by the Muslims, okay? So then now you go back to this. Oh, the Dutch came to Indonesia. What are they doing? <laughs> Slavery. So who do you think is there? So let me tell you this. When you go to fight the Vietnam War, okay, who are the Vietnamese people? Bantus. But they've been there since the pre-Islamic era. So they're speaking the, the, the Vietnamese language and they don't remember um, as, that much. So guess what's happened? When we go to Vietnam, who did they mostly recruit into the military? Blacks and Hispanics. So when you go to Vietnam, and this is the truth because Ho Chi Minh was a Mason, okay? The French didn't just come to, to, to this land just because, because like, like, like the most, like, like by the way not to say, where we put our foot, the wealth also comes because we're a blessed nation still, okay? They came to steal the money and the gold and everything that was there. Okay, so it's saying they're showing you. <laughs> the Chinese lie. They know that the, the people that they were the black, they were black Chinese, they kicked them out. They got pushed into the South. Uh, this is where you got the, the thing happening in Myanmar right now. Uh, what happened in Cambodia, uh, all these different places where people were sacrificed or killed. Thailand, I even told my one lady friend, because we say Lakey, and her name happens to be Lake. So <laughs> you have to see. People don't get it, man. This is what they know. 
the Mukongo people have been traded around the world. We were already scattered even before the slave trade in Africa began to the Americas. And I try to tell people this, this is what the most, I was telling Pastor Mello, this is why Arab poets even said this. It says we were born of Arab fathers and African mothers. This is why you have such a big Islamic connection in Indonesia and the Philippines. This is why they practice voodoo in the Philippines. Okay. So this is Jacob killing Jacob, people. This is what Isaiah is talking about. He said, it's just stumbling. Again, he said, then many shall stumble and they will deliver up one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise up and lead many astray. People, when they turn it, when the Catholicism said they were going around the world to teach the word of Jesus Christ, <laughs> they knew who they were converting. Bantus, scattered Bantus. The other, the other tribes were brought along with it because they were Shemites and Hamites and all those and others that became Christians. But the people who mattered the most to be converted was the Solili. Okay. This is the reason why people don't understand. Josiah never, Jesus Christ never forced anybody to worship him. But when these, <laughs> the atrocities that these people will tell you, when these Catholic priests and nuns would show up, they abused these people. It's in the history books. You just choose to ignore it. Do you, and don't think the Protestant people didn't do the same. They, it's in the history books as well. Okay, Africa, Asia, you know, why do you think Jap Japanese people got upset with the missionaries? People, they tell the stories so wrong. Christianity thinks they're under attack. They're under attack because the people who they're trying to convert know that the system that you've been brought under is not true because they know the real history of the of, of the of the most highest people they know it because they're scattered people of his that's why they're fighting back when they start bringing out this white jesus they're like he wasn't white we know who he was he showed up sometimes even in people understand Isaiah showed up to people that were his people scattered this is why you hear all the people, oh, hope you prophecy, this prophecy, whatever. Yes. Okay, this is why I can't remember his name. Ah, there was a story that says that when the, when the I think he was um, Quetzalcoatl or whatever, he was, ha he was part of the Bantu connection somehow. That he was given a warning. He was, a, it was in South America. He was given a warning that when they saw this sign, the cross on the breastplates of the Spaniards, his world was over. That's why they, that's why they attacked him. When they, they didn't welcome him in, they attacked him when they showed up. And the Spaniards were wondering why, I think it was the Baca who, was the, who they fought, or, or it might have been Cortez, one of the two. And it was like they attacked them because the minute they saw the symbol, they're like, oh, that's that's the prophecy. It's over for us. Okay. History is fabricated by the rich and those who win. <laughs> okay. They know this. They've been doing this for a long time because the fallen angels control this. The, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what it's been about all this time. Okay. This right here, 
this right here has never stopped. It went to every Rom Roman Empire, Persian Empire, Greek Empire, uh, um, British Empire, um, French Empire, German Empire. All the Gentiles have always been doing this. Puppets are the same game. In order to, these, these fallen beings do not want the real Hebrews to judge them because that's what they know is the outcome. They fell, they disobeyed the Most High, they wouldn't bow down to Adama. They knew Uzziah was coming. <sighs> they tried to stop him, including creating a fake one. Okay. Then after he came, they knew he would come back to judge them with his people. So his people had to be scattered, which is what Jeremiah 23 is about. Lemelia, okay? So what I'm, what I'm getting to is that I'm going to go to Revelation. Uh, where is it? I'm going to go to Revelation 17. And I'm going to tell you who she's wearing out. Let's see if it's in there. I'm going to start from verse one. And one of the seven messengers who had seven bowls came and spoke with me, saying to me, come, I shall show you the, the judgment of the great whore sitting on many waters, which we now know, with, with whom the sovereigns of the earth committed whoring. Do you think that this just happened in the past? That he's talking. No, this is he's future prophesying. So every sovereign, okay, in the Roman Empire, even the ones who claim to be Christians, they're 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 connected to this harlot. The presidents of this country that had always been in the going one to the next, they know they lied to you. They with the George Washington worship Istar. Period. Benjamin Franklin worship Istar. The Masons worship Istar. That's why they called it Columbia. That's another name for her. They call her Libertatus, Libertas, excuse me, from the Roman goddess. That's where your liberty comes from. The sons of liberty means the sons of Istar. I'm telling you, people, you're going to find out this is, is going to shape the whole world, but I'm telling you, okay? That's why they call themselves the sons of liberty, because there were Masons worshiping the, the harlot. But they couldn't tell you that. Oh, no, George Washington was a great Christian. Christianity is mixed spirituality with the harlot. It, the Church of Lydia has always been mixed. The United States was started with the Freemasons and the Jesuits. Period. Together. But they won't tell you, oh, they never liked it. Lies. Satan's house cannot be divided. Okay. All right. with whom the sovereigns of the earth and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of her whoring. People, this is the wine the Messiah is talking about that you have to dump out so he could teach you. The old wine and the wineskins. The wine he's referring to is the harlot wine that many of us were made to drink when we were doing the carnal and the carnal mindedness of the world that he was teaching us when we were doing the um, the worldly things, when we were condemning, when we were condemning, this is that. This is still happening. Don't tell me the Catholic Church didn't condemn people. 
when there's supposed to be no condemnation, when they're excommunicating you from the church. Hello. When the church is your body, not a building. <sighs> wow. I said, but y'all don't get it, man. And then see, everybody tripping when the churches were closed down. And I kept telling people, the church is not the building. It's you. So you're the one that still needs to remain holy when you're not there. You're the one that matters. The, 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 when you die, the building ain't going, isn't going anywhere. It's going to burn when the city, when all these church buildings are going to burn when the Most High destroys the whole earth. Where are they going? <sighs> See, Satan deceived the whole world. It says, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast covered with the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and 10 horns. And the woman was dressed in purple, which we see a lot of celebrities who worship the goddess like to wear. And scarlet, which is the red, the, the lady, the woman in the red dress in the matrix, hello? And scarlet is normally worn by many Catholic priests, especially the cardinals, and adorned with gold and precious stones. Is not the Vatican adorned with precious stones and pearls, which is taken from where? The Congo, with as many precious, the Africa, where they have a many many precious stones. <sighs> okay. Holding in her hand a golden cup filled with abominations. When we talked about the Eucharist that this guy was even talking about it in, in Christianity, in, the, in Catholicism, when the priest raises up the golden cup. People, <sighs> the Most High is not about how should I say this? He, you're, you're, you're going against his teaching to think that he's okay with all of this wealth personification, this wealthiness, okay? Where you're flaunting the things that you have that show you have wealth. The, the king, the barbell's crown for the king's, for the king's crown, the, the, the king's crown is made out of gold. <laughs> Y'all don't get it. The Gentiles, you have been laid low by the devil. That's what, that's what the most I said. And it says, upon her forehead name written a secret, a secret, Babel the Great, the mother of the whores, and the, of the abominations of the earth. Right now, there are so many abominations being performed by rich people in secret, in the masquerades, that they do that you will throw up when you find out what they've been doing. You will pee yourself. You will, and these and these are the same people who are sending you to go fight wars. For what? For wealth. Right here. Same thing. Never change. Oh, but you're talking against uh, uh, our right to have, make money, life, pursuit of happiness. That's not even in the Bible, Christians. You are supposed to do the will of the most high, not go after your own will. See, the rights of this United States contradict scripture, period. And the Masons, they, the, if you go, like I said, you put the Bill of Rights next to the Ten Commandments, you will see they contradict each other. Period. But yet it's supposed to be a Christian country. All right. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the uh, of the Malaka or the Kodesh, it's a Kodeshem, but the, the blessed ones. And with the blood of the witnesses of Isaiah and saying to her, I marvel greatly. This is not Christians that she's drunk with the wine of the blood of people. It's Banabetu. You solely, 
Yaounde, who she's drunk with the blood of the wine of. This is why she's killing Black people left and right on the streets. This is why she's killing people in these situations here. She's putting you on the front lines to kill you. This is why she's putting you in this situation. This is why she's putting you here. All this stuff, war after war. Okay? This, these are her servants right here, especially these named after her. All of this, Lucifer, these fallen angels, they all connected, period. Even if they don't know it themselves, they'll find out, okay? This is why they have this symbol on, I'm gonna tell, put it in front of your face again, everywhere. And you don't see it. This is a phallic symbol that was cut off of the of the of the of Nimrod because of his of his, his sin. This represents the sun god Ra. Period. End of story. This is Tammuz. This is Nimrod. Period. And I'm going to show you the harlot. But be careful because I got the thing off. It might it might bring up the wrong pictures. <laughs> I got it the safe search off. My bad. The harlot of Babylon. See, they're pulling up the Statue of Liberty. See, people even doing it. They're showing you. It's the Catholic Church, people. Oh, careful. <laughs> See here, I'm going to put her name in here. This is this is this is a, these are the wicked lions. This is her sons, Tammuz. This is Tammuz and Nimrod. They're the, they're wrong the wrong lions. Pagan goddess. They call her Estor. They call her Astarte or Estora. See, this is what's coming out. I had an encounter with this being. She's wicked. She's hideous in the spirit world okay period you're getting ready to celebrate this holiday coming up it, it, it was called the festival of Istar, where she would go down and this is what it would happen tammuz was killed after the end of the 40 days of weeping which is what you now call lent but they claim it's supposed to be when the Messiah fasted, when this, they're in the wrong time, okay? He, she went down to go get Tammuz and bring him back up and he was resurrected. And they called it the festival of Ishtar. The Messiah, the real Messiah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure Pastor Mellon will verify this because I know the springtime they celebrate Passover in Africa in October. Yesiah was born the same time frame, which is really the spring. That's why the Most High said you are in Daniel seven twenty five, where the devil has flipped it. So even though the you have the Hebrew Israel getting ready to celebrate their New Year, the New Year is in October, and that's where the Ashkenazi Jews kind of put it in your face, but it's kind of off by a few times, few days because they use the the Babylonian calendar. It's after the fall equinox, 
is the new year, which is the spring equinox to the Bantus. Hello. And I kind of got that from listening to Johnny John when she kept saying that April was the harvest. And I'm like, how can, if April is the harvest in the Kikongo or the Bantu or the Kosa, then how can it be, it can't be harvest in spring at the same time? So you got to go back, backwards. And the most I said, exactly. The Messiah was born and crucified the same time he was born, he died. This is why the Most High said you have been deceived. The, 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 the Catholic Church and the Ashkenazi Jews aligned their Passover and Easter around Ishtar's festival. Period. You have been deceived. That's why I was talking to a friend of mine. He says, you're really going in the Feast of Tabernacles right now, which is normally in the fall. Okay. The spring equinox of this time, because like I try to tell people, we don't live on a globe. Period. We do not. We live in a bumendala. So the Malakis simulate the, they simulate the weather patterns. They're responsible for it. So because the Messiah, the Most High turned the world over to the hands of the wicked, okay, they flipped everything. That's why he said, he said, Daniel, let's go to Daniel 725. I'm gonna explain to you what this means. When he says he changed times and seasons and people don't even understand, it's all backwards. Okay. And see, the problem is, I'm going to go and try to read the, if I can, or hear it or play it. This is why the most I say is Satan to see the whole world. You don't have any clue. You're going to find out it's a shock. All right. It says in the ten horns, and I know Pastor Miller, he, he kind of broke this down about these, this, these ten horns. If you don't know it, just go back to his videos. He'll, he'll explain the ten horns. And the ten horns are the ten sovereigns from this reign. They shall rise and another shall rise after them. And it is different from the first ones. And it humbles three sovereigns. And it speaks words against the Most High. And it wears out the blessed ones of the Most High and intends to change the appointed times and law. The blessed ones of the Most High are the 12 tribes who receive Isaiah Congo, who have been brought back to him, starting with what happened with the disciples and their followers when they were chastised. Okay, their martyr when when Rome martyred the the followers in Rome. Okay, and they did it again in Africa when they were following Simon Toko. They tried to slaughter them because he was exposing the beast. That's why John the twenty third wouldn't reveal the third secret of Fatima, Pope John the twenty third, because he's like it would ruin the fact that they have no power and this man can do what we cannot do. So it exposes them and he's not white. Where white people are supposed to have the superior power of the most high. <laughs> See? And it says, and he wears out the blessed ones for the most and intends to change appointed times and they are given to his hand for a time and times and a half and a time. We are in that. He has been wearing us out since Simon Kimbango. Okay, since when he went and split up Africa. He's the one, this, his spirit is running these nations. 
you have just been deceived to that. Because the most high knows that there is, first of all, there is no sin allowed in his kingdom. So you cannot be person sinning thinking that you're going to get away with it. And so I had, you have to, that's why I had to purge and make sure I'm clean all the time now. I have to make sure I don't watch my steps. You have to be careful because the problem is if you have uncleanliness in you and you're teaching the 12 tribes, you're going to be leading them astray. And that's what happened with the churches. They were unclean and they were leading the, the, the sheep astray and they still are by calling themselves the shepherds now and the sheep. You're going to see. And then people, and then of course, those who think they're the real Jews is like, uh, no. Okay, we ran. Most of us ran just like Isaiah said, and we hid and changed our names because the, the Romans were destroying the Khazars. Okay. Period. So when he, so like I'm saying, I'm telling you, I'm going to read this again. This is you, military people. The kingdom is, the, the Most High's kingdom is not up in the air. Let's see. All right, here we go. And I saw one message, this is Revelation 19. And it says, I saw one messenger standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the birds that fly in the Zulu, come and gather together for the supper of the great Ilimo. And the, and the most high supper is this, to eat the flesh of sovereigns and the flesh of commanders and the flesh of strong ones and the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them and the flesh of all the people free and slave, both small and great. Okay, because this is the what's going to happen is the Isaiah is going to wipe out people with his army, which includes Yisolele, which is from Jeremiah 51. I shall break in pieces. Okay, y'all think the most I playing with y'all. Let me show you because you got people now, now they, oh, oh yeah, they lift the coronavirus. Now we can go do the things we want to do. The most I say, you're distracted. It's over for y'all. You don't get it. You are not the people called by my name that you think you are. The people called by my name are not called Christians. You didn't even exist when I said that, when he said that. That's the deception. I I was always I was in that same deception too, as a as a descendant of Yakuba. It's like oh, they really played us, and many of us are stuck in it too. Still, let's see what does that say. Jeremiah fifty one. Here's what he said. Listen to this. The portion of Yakuba is not like them, for he is the maker of all, and Yisraeli is the tribe of his. Okay, let me say this again. Yisrael, Yisraela, which is really the word, or Yisraeli is the tribe of his inheritance, that, uh, Yahweh or God or what you want to call him, Lord of hosts. Yahweh, we say Yahweh or Tatanzambi is his name, Congo. We know Congo is part of that. Okay. Where does it say Christians are the inheritance? Where does it say Muslims are the inheritance? Where does it say Judaism is the inheritance? Or the so-called Israel? The Kaza, no. I'm telling you, people. You, you are my battle axe. Weapons of battle, and with you I shall break in pieces nations, and uh, nations in pieces, and with you I shall destroy reigns. So this is when he talks about in the scripture where we shall be the judgment of all the nations yes 
we passing out destruction judgment. <sighs> y'all don't, uh, y'all better wake up. I'm telling you, if you, if he, and this is why he said, earlier in the scripture, he says, in, in verse five, he says, for neither you solele nor Yahuda, I say you say, like you say, Ella or Yahunde, Yahudi, is widowed by his, is, we're not widowed by the Most High. He's always been with us. They lie because they won't tell us who we are. Elimu Tatanzam Yapoa of hosts, though their land has been filled with the sin against the blessed one, and this land is filled with the sin. Just look at it, covered in it. So, how can this be the Most High land? Oh, but Christians say, oh, well, this, we know this earth is not our home, but you are destroying his earth. Hello, you are helping to destroy his earth. So how can you be welcomed in his kingdom? And you're helping us do who are chosen to do the same. That's why he said, whoever leads the sheep astray will be destroyed. <laughs> It says, flee from the midst of Babylon and let each one save his life. Do not be cut off in her wickedness. Flee means to separate, to get away from, to not become the only part of this goddess here. This is the harlot of Babylon, people. And she is back with a vengeance against the whole world. This is what you don't understand. That's why Moses said we never stop worshiping Baal because of this harlot and her and her wine. This is why we're killing each other like it's nobody's business because she's drunk with the wine of the Banabetu, of the harlot. Of, of, of our of the saints, the true saints, those of us who accept you surely lay. That's why Masa said many of us are going to be killed. Just like he said for his name's sake. I don't know. I could be one of them. I don't know. Anything could happen. But the point is excuse me, sorry. We have to realize this is why more makes no sense. This is why when they tell you to go do something and it's like, well, who's really benefiting from this? But they always say, you don't ask questions unless we tell you to, you know, the point is these people know what they're doing. They make up so many lies in their orders of what they intend to do. Because the bottom line is, this is why Many people go crazy after war. You know why? Because you're. This is the demons. This the demons are doing this. This is why you find out people lost losing mind and hurt their wife and kid, or they get set up. I'm telling you. And if you come out, if you if you reveal the secret, then they they set you up. It's not worth it anymore to continue these lies for people who don't care about you at all they claim that they have to play the role okay they have to play the role this is why they put in so much pageantry you know trust me i was a big air force fan until the most i revealed to me what that really is okay navy army he said they're all killing my people they just don't tell you that period but then they say i'm blessing this nation how when you're causing jacob to kill jacob just because you refuse to reveal the truth because you serve lucifer in secret that's the lie world war one world war two Vietnam, North Korea was all the devil. Oh, the Bay of Pig incident. This is all Satan trying to destroy the world 
to keep Jacob from coming home. And the Most High stopped him several times. That's why when I hear people say, can the devil stop the second exodus? And I'm like, did he stop the first one? No. Did he stop us from leaving Jew Babylon the last time? No. And this time when we leave, it's over. He won't even be able to deceive the nations anymore. That's why they, they loaded up on all kind of these specialty weapons now. Space Force. <laughs> Come on. That's the whole new way they're trying to get people to fit. To, they, to, they can't kill this. They can't. They, they, they know they're trying to kill the Most High. And they can't do it. But they're going to lie to you and say that, oh, this is what we're doing. And they're using Jacob to help. That's the sad part. To try to kill his own creator. With lies. You need to stop listening to the lies, Yakuba. You solely down to people. These secret societies do not give one doggone care about you. That's why this whole thing with the vaccine is a lie. They're trying to keep you separated from the most high for eternity. Because when you take it voluntarily, like I try to tell people in my family, that's one thing. But if they force it upon you, okay, that's another. It's different. Because you did not accept it willingly, they commit the sin, not you. But if you commit, if you accept it willingly, then you commit the sin. Because you're saying to the most high, you're not capable of protecting me, my body, from this thing. Even though he's the one that sent pfft, nothing happens on this earth without his permission. So if he sends out the plague, you think he can't protect his own people from it that know who he is? He's not going to protect you if you don't know who he is. Okay? So you're at the mercy of those who that's, that's doing what they're doing. I keep trying to tell people it's not a fake disease. It's just not spreading as fast as the way that they're doing things to make it spread faster. And it is hitting their house. They're not going to lie. They, they're not going to tell you why because like I said, the, the plagues hit the Pharaoh's house too. But they're not going to tell you why. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is war. War has always been about giving the demons their sacrifice. They're giving their false gods their sacrifice because they need that to even have any power. So this is how they do it. They have to trick you into doing it so that you can convince you to kill people for the greater good. It's always, oh, for the greater good, for the greater good. Greater good of who? The most high is like, I don't need that. But I will destroy the wickedness. The most high knows how to do things better than anyone. And people deny it. He knows how to run his world. He created it. So why does he need you to kill for him unless it's because he's getting rid of things that's going to interfere with what he's trying to do? When all reality now, it's like, basically, he's letting them kill each other. They just don't know it. Nathan ride, first and fall. Time of the Gentile beef, they, but they try to include you in it because they know you're going to curse yourself. So here is what I'm saying, people, you know, hallelujah, that no most high is trying to show his, his chosen people. You're not going to come into his kingdom with any sin, period. Stop listening to these false shepherds.
oh yeah or oh, he'll of course he'll accept you even if you're gay uh, no this is people this is the harlot's wine talking to you oh yeah he'll accept this he'll accept that this is the way the de- it's the same thing what the devil was saying oh yeah don't worry about that you'll just be as smart as he is it's the same thing just in a different way That's one of the reasons why when you label yourself a Christian, then you're at the mercy of those who want to do wickedness. But when you say I'm a Bantu, like I said, I'm a Bantu Banduela. That changes the whole, man, my, my wife found that out. Oh, wait a minute. This is, we have a woke one here. Okay, it changes the whole context of the thing. Because they know they created this religion out of falsehood. That's why they, I, I laugh because people will say, oh, I was a Mason and I joined Christianity. And the Mason's like, we control Christianity. So what are you talking about? Ha <laughs> ha, we got you anyway. We changed all of these things. Who do you think took the books out? When there's really 80 in the Catholic and there's 66 in the Protestant, even though there's even more. I said, who do you think modified the scriptures and then claiming to be that they have the right to do so as the Catholic Church? Because they represent the Most High. And then they're gonna make the they're gonna read that scripture to you, making like they can't change it when they do it all the time. Because like like, like Brother not to say, they, they rewrote it. They took it from us. They changed it and gave it back to us. That's why do you think they didn't want us to read it in the first place? Because we that's what started all the revolts. That's our name in there. What? Wait a minute. This is about what? And they turned, they went after the slave master. What is, wait a minute. We're the, you, we're the Jews. We have been bamboozled. Like I told you about the music, people. It's the same thing. They use everything. These people hate the most high. They hate him. They just won't tell you that. But they'll trick you into to doing to doing the things that you do, thinking that they're they're one of yours, and they're not. They are not with you. You cannot be the Messiah said this. You cannot be pursuing wealth. pursuing it and think you're going to get into the kingdom when he already said he, he's not going to contradict himself people christianity has you believe in the messiah is going to contradict himself he's not going to do it okay i mean i, I remember listening to the lady on the um on the view oh i think jesus would make the cake for the gay people <sighs> I sat there and I said, when Messiah went to speak to the people who needed help, they did not change him to their ways. He changed them to his. And if they didn't accept it, he kept going, just like he told his disciples. If they don't teach, they don't believe what you say, keep on walking. Oh, but there's no condemnation. Oh, there's no... De- Listen. The Bible is filled with examples where they did not accept sin in the assembly. To teach it when you are forward, you had to purge yourself to represent the Most High. Period. None of the disciples, okay, they warn people about teaching when you have sin inside of you, that it will change the way people see us, period. So your pastor cannot stand up there and represent the most high if he's doing wickedness 
or things he shouldn't be doing, especially teaching you the wrong truth, and think that he's going to have power to do anything to help you. That's why he can't raise the dead. That's why he can't go into a hospital and start looking up people off their sick bed. That angel doesn't listen to him. You have to call upon the angel to do that. Yes. When you have the Moan and Semi, the angels will listen to you and you will know their, their, their powers and you know their strengths and you will know what they can do and cannot do, which is very few things that they can't do. Okay, they will tell you what their ability are. They will talk to you when you have the Moan, the, the, whole, the true Holy Spirit. They will come and minister to you on a regular basis. Just like if they're talking to the Messiah because you represent him perfectly. That's the deception, people. You will see, like he says, the angels ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Do you see that? Do you see that? Why you think they came trailing the sky? <laughs> That's the true reason. They're trying to block out things you they know is up there. They don't they want the matrix to remain a mystery to you. And believe everything they say or talk, you know. The saddest part about it is I, I, I hate this part. They'll say, Oh yeah, we know politicians lie. So if they're lying, then who do they serve when they lie? The most high? Uh, no. They're lying because they're with Satan. So they're not going to tell you the truth in a certain way. Oh, politicians, we know they lie. When you do things like that, you're not on the most high side, period. So you think you're going to, so you're going to go listen to these people tell you what to do. We, the, the biggest lie in this country the United States has no real enemies. They were made for you to believe that they did. All of the leaders are Masons for the purpose of destroying the kingdom of the Most High and his people. That his real king, his kingdom is here on earth. That's why the Messiah is in. The kingdom is here. If you can, if your pastor can perform miracles, the kingdom is here. Period. But you're looking around, oh, where the kingdom at? Oh, that's why he said, y'all don't even see it. All right. So I wanted to get that message. All right. I needed to get that message out because it's going to get ugly. As you can't even tell, man, it's already starting to get really bad. I'm telling you, these states are set. Wait, you're going to see. They're going to start lifting these sanctions or these whole, not sanctions, but this whole corona thing. Some states going to do it, some states going to not. Bam, it's going to cause fights. Why can't our state lift it? Why did, why, did, why did you lift it, you know? I'm telling you, people, it's going to get ugly because Biden has already told his government, what are you, Neanderthals? The CDC is telling you this stuff has not gone away yet, and you're lifting your restrictions. What's going to be the outcome of that? Because what's going to happen is people want to start getting sick again, and they're going to say, look, now I'm going to declare martial law. They're going to shut this whole thing down. People, there is no more constitution. It's a lie. They already ripped it up, and the new one is already out there. It's called the NWO. And they're going to show you that here real soon, as they already started in other countries. All right, so Kim, Kim, Tatanzambia, Mazulu. And Sambulolo and uh may you know you know is a kuswa kutala and be safe and everybody prepare and get the